Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh And welcome back to my channel Today we want to learn Form 5 lesson Our top, our team today People And then topic is module 1 It is personal We will continue module 1 It is personal And today we want to focus On email Alright, our objective today, at the end of the lesson, students are able to write and describe an email. Means here, belajar tahu bagaimana cara untuk menulis ataupun menghuraikan ataupun mengeluarkan idea bagi menulis e email. Right, as we know that we want to talk about email. Do you know what is email? Maksudnya kita hantar email Orang hantar email Kita balas email orang yang hantar Berdasarkan soalan yang telah diberi Alright guys This is the questions that given in your textbooks You can find out Read, the, read this writing task And answer the questions You have received an email from your English speaking friend our teacher has asked us to prepare a talk on what young people in different countries do when they are not at school. Can you help by writing and explaining what it, what it is like in your country? What do young people do at home? Where do they go out? And what do they do there? Thanks, Billy. Okay guys, kalau kita tengok soalan di sini, ialah Okay. Kamu telah menerima satu email daripada rakan kamu Alright And then Cikgu telah meminta untuk prepare a talk on what young people In different countries Alright Different countries Bila Maksudnya negara yang berbeza Do Buat Bila mereka tidak Ke sekolah Sekolah Alright, can you help by writing and explaining? Okay, maknanya kita nak tulis, kita nak menerangkan. Alright, apa yang dilakukan oleh orang muda ini di negara ki kita? Alright, what do you, what do young people do at home? Maksudnya ialah, okay, apa orang muda ni buat kat rumah? Right, what they do? Where do they go out? Di mana mereka kelu? Keluar And what do they do there? Apa yang mereka buat di sana? Di sana Bila mereka keluar dan apa yang mereka buat di sana? Alright guys This is a statement that you need to understand Our teacher has asked us to prepare a talk on what young people in different countries do when they are not at school Maksudnya Yalah Cikgu kita nak kita Uh, ceritakan okay, Tentang orang muda Yang berada di uh, Negara yang berbeza Apa yang mereka buat apabila mereka tidak ke sekolah Sekolah Alright. Question number 2 Number 1 There are 4 questions that you need to answer Can you help by writing and explaining Alright. This is number 1 You need to write and ask Explain what is like in your country Maksudnya Keadaan yang macam mana okay, Orang muda ini di negara Negara kita Berdasarkan soalan yang diberikan What do young people do at home? Apa yang orang muda ini buat di Di rumah Okay, where they go out Okay, question number 3 Di mana mereka keluar And what do they do there? Okay, apa yang mereka buat di, sa di sana? Di sini kita ada empat soalan Alright, that we need to answer Let we discuss the questions One by One by one Alright, here we discuss about the questions As I said before, right? Ini uh, yang cikgu terangkan sebentar tadi Saya terangkan okay. What do young people do at home okay. Apa yang dilakukan oleh orang muda di rumah Where do they go out Di manakah mereka keluar What do they do they Apa yang mereka Yang dilakukan oleh mereka di, sa di sana Alright That we discuss on how to write an email Okay According to the questions given Alright Number one we need to have a greetings here alright for example how are you hi hello how are things with you how is it going alright and intention here the reason i write this because alright you need to have your intention niat kita menulis email tadi okey apa boleh kita menyampaikan salam berdasarkan greeting tadi and then reason alright reason 
we need to answer the quest question so right kita nak jawab soal nah alright that is what do young people do at home apa yang mereka buat di rumah alright we have a maybe here because for this topic we discuss about household chores alright maybe do household chores playing games catch up on the awesome movie alright or watching movie exercise read books get gardening get baking play cards games all right definitely there is uh, an example of the reason what do young people do at home where do they go out okay di mana mereka keluar workplace tempat kerja playgrounds taman permainan restaurant tempat ma makan attending events all right sporting events travel indoor games right this is example where okay where ini masuk indoor games ni mungkin dia alright uh, bermain di taman alright maybe they went to the stadium alright travel here they go out travel maybe they go to uh, Kuala Lumpur you can write they go to the island right the beautiful place Sporting events, maksudnya ialah okay tempat-tempat sukan-sukan yang dijalankan. And then, what do they do? They playgrounds. Right, maybe they playing restaurant, eating, attending event. Maybe they have a events for wedding events. For example, they have a reunion, sporting events. Maybe watching. Uh, maybe they went to the stadium, travel here. As I said before, they have a place travel to real estate, right? Uh, to use their own free times. Indoor games here. Maybe they have, uh, for example, we have uh, badminton, right? Maybe they went. They have a tournament there, right? If they are not go to school or if they at at home all right guys that's all uh, what uh, i need to discuss thanks for listening if you have any comment you can write down your comment in the comment session i will reply it for you and lastly please don't forget to subscribe because subscribe is free if you have anything or some of the questions or long questions maybe you can just go to the comment section that's all right that's all thanks for listening assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh